The Next Gen Community Canada's The Orbit A lot is going on in the world as regards technology. There are even some technological developments we are not aware of that upon knowing will blow our minds. An area of this technological development is the building of smart cities. Many countries have delved into this project with futuristic smart cities in mind. One of those countries is Canada, and the development of their smart city was expected. But when you see the plans for this smart city, your jaw will drop. Welcome back to Build to Innovate. In today's video, we will look into the next generation smart city community that Canada is developing. We will examine the features of this futuristic city, the prospects it has, and the impact it will have on the country. Have you ever asked the question of what if we could create a society that benefits from technology? Imagine a neighborhood where residents prioritize environmental sustainability, the arts, transit, cutting-edge streets and infrastructure, social interaction, health and wellness, a modern economy, urban agriculture, and advanced manufacturing, all in combination with thriving startup energy and culture. Well, the orbit in Canada is what placemaking and city construction will look like in the future. The Orbit Smart City is a project that is being developed in Canada. The next generation community, called the Orbit, is envisioned as a neighborhood near Innisfil, Ontario, located 60 kilometers north of Toronto, the largest city in Canada and the fourth largest in North America overall. It has a long tradition of progressive thinking in the little rural town of Innisfil. It was among the first communities to try out Uber, and it also takes cryptocurrencies for paying taxes and for local services. Innisfil's population is expected to increase from 30,000 to between 50,000 and 150,000 people overall, according to the proposal. As people look for more affordable housing outside of Toronto, Innisfil is one of the communities in the area that is expanding the fastest. Over 40 million square feet, 4 million square meters, of freshly constructed modern communal space can be absorbed by the proposed project. It'll be a location to develop. The Orbit idea is the result of a forward-thinking partnership between developers, community builders, and next-generation architects, and it continues the Garden City legacy. It is a cutting-edge neighborhood where the advantages and characteristics of urban living coexist with small-town and rural lives. In this rural reimagining, the public realm is at the fore with housing density and affordability, mobility, transit, arts, culture, technology, connectivity, business, digital innovation, economy, healthcare, social cohesion and infrastructure, sustainability, agriculture, open spaces, access to trails and waterfront, and walkability. The orbit is by the Partisans and BDP Quadrangle. The plan for the orbit is said to make use of an original street grid shape the company has dubbed Squircles which are halfway between squares and circles. Instead of ideal lawns for kids to play on, the plan refers to more effective and environmentally friendly suburbanization patterns as an alternative to urban sprawl. In reality, they are replacing 19th century terminology with 21st century terminology, along with a plan for mass fiber optic cable systems that will connect sidewalks, streets, and buildings, as well as drone ports and self-driving car technology, the project of the Orbit City will cover more than 450 acres and will also include a plan for these technologies. The business has also considered how such technologies might help health and wellness centers. There will also be all the other components of a welcoming city, such as a school, farmer's market, library, recreation areas, and cultural organizations. The orbit will be completed in stages and will feature residential, commercial, institutional, educational, and communal uses. The GO train station, which is expected to be finished in 2022, will serve as the community's hub and mark the first milestone. The needed setback from the lines will be a linear parkland. The train line resembles a steel river. Something that is typically overlooked becomes a valuable resource for the whole neighborhood. Everything else will be constructed around that GO station, starting with that initial phase. The upcoming GO station will include a connection to the Barry Line for customers who are worried about living too distant from important urban centers. It will swiftly and conveniently transport commuters to other areas of the GTA. 
such as the cities of Vaughan and Toronto. This region will quickly develop into a dynamic, energetic neighborhood that will blend the advantages of a small town with those of metropolitan living. Being environmentally friendly and providing sustainability for the future is one of the key goals of this community. Along with retail, office space, and other types of residential accommodation, the proposed development also includes high-density housing. This makes it possible for high and low densities to coexist, which is beneficial for the community, the climate, and the future. The residents of the neighborhood will have access to everything they require. By having all the services they require in one location, including sports, and recreational facilities, arts and culture venues, and more, residents will no longer need to go to Barrie or Toronto. A hospital and other facilities that the neighborhood deems useful may eventually be added to the orbit. By limiting the development to one location, this new community pledges to protect the town's natural landscapes while also increasing the local population and number of jobs. The Cortel Group, the principal developer on this project, would combine wide open spaces by adding parks, trails, and connectivity to the coastline. This area is recognized for its agricultural land and access to Lake Simcoe. The built shape of the orbit is where it gets the most experimental. To prepare for increased density, partisans suggested introducing dynamic zoning throughout the neighborhood. A relatively recent concept called dynamic zoning seeks to automatically upzone a whole region when a particular developmental requirement is satisfied. According to the condition indicated in the text, when a region is 70% built out, the permitted density and building heights are automatically increased everywhere to allow for gradually increasing densities as the city expands. When a density increase is necessary, it also avoids rezoning specific properties and instead updates the zoning concurrently with the development of the area. If the local planning body does not impose a cap on heights and densities, this cycle will continue indefinitely. The orbit also makes use of a variety of hybrid building types and massing schemes that range in height from low-rise to high-rise. The design foregoes the conventional tower and podium in cities and suburban arrays of boxes in favor of undulating, flowing forms that defy categorization. Building heights in the images are arranged in a gradient that peaks at the transit node, and non-rectilinear massing and courtyard typologies add open spaces to the built form. The transit node, the initial element of the master design that will kick off the build-out with a boom, lies at the center of the orbit. The design team is recommending creating a very urban environment in a very rural setting. Partisans is recommending moving the station slightly to the south to be centered below 6th line, with a four-tower development built over the top of the station, as opposed to Metrolinx's typical rural condition of an isolated train platform surrounded by parking lots. Street level and the structures that would straddle the rail corridor would provide access to the station. Many people feel like this particular project is a very ambitious one. However, this project has the backing of the government. It is a way the government is trying to get more housing opportunities for the people of Canada as the population begins to grow and many people are more in need of housing in the country. The prospects of this smart city are as similar to that of other big countries in the world. It simply would be great. Many people are not accustomed to the idea of radical change, especially in Innisville, where many people still have mixed feelings as regards the development of the city into a futuristic one because the change is a drastic one. Jason Raynar, the chief administrative officer of Innisville, even said, I think the people of Innisville have been pretty happy to be a small town for its entire inception, and the town council wants to maintain all of the things that are awesome about a small town. But we recognize that from sustainability and fiscal responsibility perspective, we have to densify, and the idea of sprawling, single-family dwelling-type subdivisions is not the way that Innisville wants to grow. So, by bringing this futuristic innovation to Innisfil, the prospects of growth and sustainability are getting higher. And upon the conclusion of the Orbit project, you can only imagine how big and well-off it would pay. Please do leave your comment and thoughts below on what you think about this massive project. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe for more content on futuristic and technological events going on around the world.